everybody welcome back to my channel hope you're all having a great day it is kind of early morning for us it's like mm, nine o'clock ish I had a long night at work but you know what it's worth it because I finally have time to sit down and do our ipsy unveiling I know everybody's been waiting a while I got it in last week but this past weekend I was busy moving so I didn't really have time and then earlier this week it's been you know trying to get things settled and get stuff done try to make sure the animals are getting settled so we're finally gonna get to check this bad boy out i admit i did go through it and kind of check the stuff out so now everybody gets to see and there is a product in here that i was super excited to get because like i was reading the claims on it got it i like fell in love with the stuff it actually did work so this month's theme is the glamazon and it says too glam to give a damn and it says uh, we're through being lazy put away your sweatpants let down your ponytail and get glammed up just for the hell of it Th third coat of mascara check five extra minutes to conquer the perfect cat eye double check getting busy with skincare before bedtime you know it so that is this month's theme this is our card and the Glamazon, you know, everybody just needs to be a little bit of a Glamazon periodically. It makes you feel good about yourself. It makes you feel happy. So you know what? If you want to put it on a little bit of extra mascara, a little extra blush, you want to try that contouring thing you've been wanting to do, go for it. Have fun with it. That's the whole point of makeup. And with it being fall, all the new trends are in, so you can go from your light colors and your pinks and your peaches and start going into more of your mauves and your burgundies get you know like the smoky eye look going or like the dark vampy lips which is personally one of my favorite things to do during the fall and winter is to wear like the dark colored lipstick like um uh like i really like uh like the berry colored ones or you know like the really deep reds and stuff like that so that's my thing the bag this month you get to see the back first Got that kind of interesting little textury look. Kind of works really too. Sounds funny. Got a gold zipper and then the front of it is super cool. So check this bad boy out. If you look closely, you can see that the ladies spell the word Ipsy. You got I P S M Y. So they're kind of YMCA in their way into Ipsy here. So it's a really cool bag. I really love the way it feels, but it has a very odd plasticky rubber smell like um you know how like a pool tarp smells or like the uh what is it like the inflatable pool toys you know how those smell that would be the dog pestering the cat my cats are trying to adjust to my mom's dogs right now um but yeah it kind of smells like an inflatable pool toy like the beach ball or something So, we have our little goodies inside, we're going to check them out, and you can see squeakers in the background, what else, we're going to roll with it. So, our first goodie of this one is from Dirty Little Secret, and it is called Teaser, it is an eyeshadow color. So, oh, hallelujah, look at this, the box cooperated with me, we know that never happens. So, this is our little deal. It's actually, it looks really light, but it's actually very pretty, kind of peachy brown color. Kind of looks like maybe like a concealer or something. It's not anything super dark, so it would be really good if you're trying to go for like a natural look. So we're going to swatch it, swatch it. You can see it's kind of a peachy, tan sort of color on my skin. Ooh, and we're getting the angry cat sounds. So, it feels very soft. It's very dry. But it's like that kind of buttery softness, and the cat's rubbing on the camera. So this is one I look forward to playing with. I think it'll be really good doing a lot of, like, cat eyes. And it's a pretty color for my blue eyes. So, that looks fun. I quite like this. I've heard good things about this brand. This is the first time that I'm getting to try it. So I will definitely try to, uh, you know, like make uh, comments and whatnot on like social media, whether I like it or not. Um, so yes, so look forward to that. 
The next thing we have is by Rodial, or, or Rodial, I'm not sure how they pronounce it. But it is Dragon's Blood Hyaluronic Tonic. That's a mouthful. It's a rehydrating and soothing toner. Do, 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 do. And we get this. It is supposed to like rehydrate and soothe. And it'll help like your skin renew itself faster and whatnot. Um, you're supposed to lightly mist on a clean skin and allow to absorb thoroughly. Can be used anytime skin needs a hydration boost. So there we go. So we're going to see, most people like, I know Dragon's Blood from like incense and whatnot, and it's usually a pretty stout smell. So I'm curious how this will smell. It smells more like rose water than anything else. I don't really smell Dragon's Blood. So if you're not a fan of Dragon's Blood, Hey, you're in luck. They may say it, but it doesn't smell like it. So, yay! Okay, our next thing is um, Sensitive Daily Safe BB SPF 30 PA++. It's a BB cream from Dr. G. And now the sun wants to be all up in the way, so we can't be there. It's kind of ish. Eh. Trying to, ah, I can never find the right way. And I can't roll. Okay, so just just take my word for it. <laughs> it is so you can protect your skin from harmful external factors with Origin Plus BB. This is Mentor's message. It is tin free, thirty nine repair water, skin protectant, and clinically tested. So it's in. SPF BB cream from some fancy dancy brand. I've heard about Dr. G. I've never had any of their stuff before. So it actually did come in a pretty fair shade. I am quite impressed with that. Like you can't even really see where I rubbed it on. I can feel a little bit. It's it has a smooth kind of velvety feel, kind of like um, kind of like a primer. Like if you'd put on like maybe like a silicone primer or something. It doesn't feel bad at all. And it is... It actually smells really good. It doesn't smell like your typical sunblock or BB cream. It has kind of a nice, like, florally fragrance. Not anything, like, really stout, though. Um, it doesn't tell me any fragrance, like, what the fragrance might be. Um... This is Gentle Nourishing, this versatile one-step balm formulated to calm sensitive skin. Provides the benefits of moisturizer, sunscreen, and soothing treatment with excellent coverage. So there you go. So maybe if you had enough of it, you could, you know, actually like build up the coverage. In my case, this is a little small deal. This would be able to do my face, you know, maybe two or three times. And, you know, enough for you to try it out. But I doubt I'm going to build up that much coverage with that little bit of a tube. Okay, so, the next thing that I know a lot of people are probably going to go crazy over is something I was very excited to get. It is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. This is the 5-in-1 styling treatment. So, this is for, like, you know, when you're trying to style your hair in a specific way, uh, apply to damp hair, and then blow dry. However, you're going to style your hair that day. Living Proof amazing brand and hair products. If Jennifer Anderson loves it, you know we should all love it. Woman's got great hair. I mean, that's just hands down. And this is a full 30 mil deal. So, you're getting a good bit. Oh, it smells really, really good. Oh, it smells so good. It's like fruity. Like, it has a good citrus scent, but it's, very, it's like very fruity. It's a tiny bit of flower, mostly fruit. Smells amazing, and I can't. I'm gonna use the tar out of this stuff. And then the thing that I have tried and have been playing with the most is the Instantly Sexy Lips by Too Faced. Now this stuff is supposed to make your lumps, your your lumps, your lips plump up. Uh, it says 97, so that it delivered instant results. 97% said lips felt moisturized, and 93% said lips look fuller and more plump. And my eye is watering now. Oh. 
It's one of them days. Allergies are driving me nuts right now, so it's making my eyes water a bunch. Oh, Claire, and here I come. This is supposed to be instant and long-term lip plumper. This is the Lip Injection Extreme Breakthrough Formula. Delivers both immediate and long-term plumping with scientifically proven advanced lip volumizing technologies. Apply day and night to naturally and dramatically hydrate, nourish, and increase lip volume. If this can plump up my lips to like Kylie Jenner status or like Nikki Tutorial status, I would be in love. Especially if I meant I didn't have to go like get lip injections. I mean, you know, my bottom lip isn't bad. Top lip isn't horrible, but you know, it could be like a little bit bigger. Just hopefully not that flat though, like, you know, preferably a little more plump. But this is a tube. Now, I don't know if you can really tell, but it's kind of like got a, a rainbowy, mystic-y sheen going on in there. It looks like a super thick gel, but it actually, it's, it's actually more the consistency of like um, a lip gloss. It smells really good. It smells like candy. Of course, you can't smell, unfortunately, but um, it's not like super thick, but it's not super thin either. It, uh, I tried the lip plumping stuff that came in my lip monthly bag from last month. Not only did that stuff smell god awful, but it was super thick and sticky and didn't do anything for either me or my mom. My mom has thinner lips and it, she, you know, she's trying to find things that make her lips plump. It didn't do a daggone thing for her. It didn't do anything for me either. Like, I didn't really feel any tingling. Didn't, really did. it just smelled bad and was just super thick and sticky. Like, did not care for it at all. This stuff, however, we both put it on and tried it. Not only does it give you a gorgeous shine. Look, look at that. Look how shiny I look. It has the perfect little doe foot applicator. It makes it put it on super simple. It does not take a lot at all. Like, I just basically get a little bit of residue off of it. I can already feel my lips starting to tingle. And like it, it worked on my mom. It made both of our lips plump up. It didn't make them, you know, massively huge. We didn't look like we had like gotten stung by a bee or anything. But it did make them plump up. It made them darker too. You can feel that the blood is being drawn up to the surface. Which is typically what lip plumping products do. Is they um, cause more blood to flow to your lips. So they get darker as a result from more blood being there. But they plump up too and look more swollen. Now a lot of it you'll see will mainly be like towards the edges of the lips. That's where you feel the majority of it at because it's making that swell and it is slowly like puffing up from the outside in. Like I don't really feel anything along here. It's mostly just like the edge of my lips is what like feels like it's tingling the most. It's not a bad tingle. It's not painful. I have eaten spicy food that has burned worse than this. But you can definitely feel it. And it says it will do it for anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes. So it was like, you know, not a big deal. As you can see, my lips are starting to get a little bit darker too. And they will, they will progressively get darker. I think when I tried it the other day, I got to probably a good, good dark pink rosy red sort of thing going on so I'm like you know if you wanted to didn't want to put on lipstick just put this on this is gonna make your lips darker anyways and hey you know it's not gonna smear or fade so it's perfect it's like the best everlasting lipstick but like you can start to see where things are starting to swell up a little bit like not super probably would help if I did like a before and after picture but it is starting to get a little bit more swollen. The biggest way that I can tell is I have this lovely scar that goes through my lip here from one of my previous cats. She used to sleep around my head and she got freaked out in her sleep one night and jumped off and jumped off of my face and managed to cut my cheek and my lip. She split my lip basically in half. So I have this lovely scar that goes through here that left me with a knot. 
there. And no, I don't have much feeling in that scar. I can't really feel that I'm, I'm touching it too much. I can feel around it, but not like right on it. But it's actually making that area pump up too. I'm like you can see my cubus bow is getting a little thicker or more poofy, however you want to call it. But yeah, like along the edges is where it seems to pump up the most. So it's slowly making it kind of expand out. And in the case of the top lip, it expands kind of out and up. Bottom one kind of expands out and down. So you get more of that fuller, pouty look going on. So that is everything in this bag. So we got amazing products. I'm super excited. We got eyeshadow. We have BB cream. We have a face toner moisturizer. So kind of a steady spray-ish sort of thing. We got lip plumper. And we got hair styling pill. So we basically got a whole face and look thing going. I can style my hair how I want it make it smell amazing. I can spray my little face down, make it feel nice, make it moisturized, make it all toned up. I can put on my BB cream with all my sunblock in it, be moisturized, be covered up, be safe from the sun. I can do my eyeshadow and I can make my lips look rosy pink and plump. So this is like a good bag. This is like basically everything you need aside from mascara. It's all in one. It's like an amazing bag this month. So I hope everybody enjoyed watching this. If you got any of the same stuff and you know you want to tell me you know what you did with it, how you felt about it, put it in the comments down below. If you got something different in your bag and you want to share, feel free to put that in the comments as well. Uh, if anybody doesn't know, since I didn't mention at the beginning, Ipsy subscri subscription bag, 10 bucks a month, they deliver it straight to your door. Um, so that is all for this month. I have done our lip monthly. I have done our birch box. I have done our Ipsy. Now we just have to wait for the next months to come in. Uh, so I hope everybody has a great day. Send you guys a ton of love from Tennessee. And I hope to see you all again very soon. Bye-bye.